In order to sell books on Amazon, one of the most crucial steps is getting customers to notice your book and then to click on it. And it is a big issue from a lot of the books that I see on Amazon and get asked to review. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a striking cover that will hopefully attract customers' attention and hopefully get that click, which then leads on to a sale. And this applies whether you're, you're selling fiction, non-fiction, no content or low content books, and for any niche as well, for that matter. So if you're looking to self-publish on Amazon, if you're looking to create a business, make money online with your computer at home, then follow along as I show you how to create a really good cover. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles, and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. Now, this video is gonna be the first in a three-part series. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a striking cover using free graphics that can be used commercially. In the second part, I'm gonna show you how to take images like this and like this and turn them into a book cover like this and like this. And in the third video, I'm gonna show you how to take those images and use them to create other products, diversify your income and hopefully make more money online. So the book that we're gonna to create today or the cover we're gonna to create today is going to have a vintage, heritage or retro type theme. And this was inspired by this author, Alice Cantrell. And these books have what I call a kind of heritage, vintage type theme or botanical type theme. If we have a look, at, a closer look at one, you can see here, we've got all these insects on a nature journal. And she's created a whole brand around these styles of books. And I think they're pretty striking or effective and are getting sales because if we have a look here at one of her books, she's got one with a bestsellers rank of 34,413, which if we go to the book calculator at tckpublishing.com, she is selling between 130 to 300 a month, which at $8.95 means just from that one book alone, she's making between 400 to $950 a month, which I think you'll agree is not bad at all. And when you consider all the other books she's got there, she's making a decent income from this one brand around this vintage type theme. So you can use what I'm gonna show you to create the cover of almost any type of book. So first of all, we need our cover graphics. Now we're gonna to go to this website called heritagetype.com where they sell fonts and illustrations. But they have a free download section. And there's five pages of these different types of graphics that you can download. And there's a huge variety available here. So we've got these here, fish, butterflies. Um, we've got silhouette type images, black and white, white line drawings, these unusual animal people here. We've got animals. And each package or each download also has a similar color theme as well, which is very useful for keeping your your covers looking unique and also having that cohesive look to them. And as I said, there are five pages of free graphics to download. If we go to the second page, we can see here we've got fruit, mushrooms, again, fish, insects, all sorts of different images. And these are downloadable. Some of them are just PNG images and some of them are like these here are available to download in PNG and vector format. Now the book we're going to create today is going to be a fishing journal. It's going to have a fish theme and fortunately for us we've got these graphics here that we're going to download. So I'm just going to click on those and open up the file here where our images are downloaded to. And if we double click on the license we can see here that these are free to use under the Creative Commons um, license and they can be used commercially. It does say that they can't guarantee that they're copyright free in every country, but they have used images that were created many years ago, I think before sort of 1923 or 1924. So they should be copyright free. If you want to double check, and I suggest you do, just do something like a reverse image search on Google Images 
just to check that they aren't copyrighted anywhere else. So we'll open the folder here or double click on the folder where our fish images are downloaded to and we'll just double click on one and you can see that's quite a large image there and looks extremely good quality. So now we're going to go to our uh, image editing software. Now I'm going to be doing this in Affinity Designer but you can actually do what I'm going to show you in Canva, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, Inkscape, Gravit Designer, almost any image editing software that you can think of because it's a straightforward process that we're going to do. So I'm going to open Affinity Designer and we're going to need to create a new document. Now this document is going to be the template for our book cover and it's going to include the front cover, the back cover and the spine. Now the best place to get a template for this is bookow.com. So if you go over there, you'll see this bit here where it says KDP cover template generator. Just click on that. It will take you to the page where you can create your own template. So this is going to be a six by nine inch book with 120 pages. So we put in width six, height nine, number of pages 120. We go down here, put in our email address, click on consent to email and then email the cover template. And you will be emailed a template like this. And this here in the top left hand corner is the most important part because this will give us the size of our template, which is 12.52 inches by 9.25. So we go ahead and just put in that in our dimensions boxes here. 12.52 wide, make sure you put in inches for the correct unit and 9.25 and click on create. And we have our page here. Now, if you're doing this on Canva, I'm just gonna give you a little tip. When you go over to custom size to create your, your page, make sure you click here where it says PX, that's for pixels, and click on inches, and then put your dimensions in these boxes. It's a common problem that people don't change it to inches, leave it as pixels, they put in the, the dimensions, and then when they try to upload it to the KDP platform, it comes out all wrong. So there's just a little pro tip for you. So we're over onto our blank page. Now what I normally like to do is just click on the rectangle tool, start in one corner and just drag. And we've got ourselves a grayish colored rectangle here. And I'm gonna change the color of that. I'm gonna do that on our sliders. So I'm just gonna adjust these. And we're gonna have a slightly yellowy, light greeny color. And then I'm just gonna drag in the template that we downloaded on top of that. And using the move tool, just drag that into the correct position. Now, if we see in the layers panel, that is above our colored rectangle that we've just created. And we're going to make the layer with our template on just invisible for the moment. So the next thing we need to do is start dragging across the images of the fish that we downloaded from heritagetype.com. So I'm going to drag each one across. Now all these are probably gonna be a bit big, so I'm just going to resize them slightly. I'm just gonna place them on the cover like so. And you can place these wherever you want. There's no particular formula that I'm using. Whatever looks aesthetically pleasing. But there's one thing I will say, and that is just leave a space over the right hand side here for our title. Now I don't want all the fishes pointing in the same direction. So I want some pointing to the left. So the way to do that is just click on a fish with your left mouse click then right click, go to transform and click on flip horizontal and you can see that's turned the fish around and we can place that anywhere we like, maybe on the other side of the page like that. So I won't bore you to death with dragging all the pictures of these fish across. I'll do that and then come back to you when I've dragged all the images across. So you'll see here we've got our background and we've got our fish, most pointing to the right hand side and some pointing to the left. And you'll notice that these go across from the back cover, across the spine and into the front cover, which is fine because once uh, 
this image is, is folded into a book, it'll look quite good. You'll have fish on both the, the back cover and front cover. Now, as you can see, we've got this space here, which is where we're going to put our text. And the title of this book is going to be Fishing Journal. Highly original, I know. So what we need to do is click on the text tool, go over to where we're going to put our text and just type in fishing. And we're going to increase the size of that slightly. So I'm going to hold down command or control and just drag and enlarge. And then what I'm going to do is change the font. Now, for these types of journals, for the more vintage type journals, I prefer a hand-drawn type font. You can use more of a classical uh, serif font if you like, but I do quite like the hand-drawn type fonts and it can be a hand-drawn serif type font as well. But for this, we're going to use one called Beverly Serif. And there we have it. So I'm just gonna hold down command while I left click and just enlarge that slightly. So underneath that, we're going to write the word fishing. So I'm just gonna click on option, click on fishing and just drag downwards. Then double click on that and type in journal. Click on the move tool and then just click on or move our word. And you'll see here that actually Affinity Designer will center the word journal with our word fishing. And then I'm just gonna use the arrow keys just to move that up slightly. So I think I'd agree, that looks quite good. Now, in terms of color, that's in black. I think we're gonna change the color slightly. And using the sliders up here, we're going to adjust the color. I think we'll have that as a brown color, which I think looks better for this particular book. So there we have it, that's the cover finished. So this is what the actual book cover will look like on Amazon, which I think you'll agree, looks pretty good. And you can see how quick, easy and simple it is to create one of these. And it's free as well and can be done in free software. So it's a, it's a winner on all accounts. And as I said, in the next video, we're gonna take things a bit further, a bit more advanced, which is useful in building up skills to create different types of covers. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, to use a catalog of over a million free images to create unique books. Again, those images will be copyright free and you'll be able to use them commercially, which is good. And also in that video, I'm gonna create two covers and I'm gonna give those two covers away to two winners who watch the video. So if you're interested in getting a free cover and want to be in a chance with getting that, then make sure you, you click on the subscribe and click on the notification bell and also turn notifications on so you do receive notification of when that video is released. Now, if you're wondering, well, what niche do I create these books in and you're trying to think up some ideas, then watch this video next where I give you my top 10 uh, niches and you can use this technique to create covers for those niches. I hope you found this content useful. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated and until next time, goodbye.